Hello world! Oh yes, it's a Friday thing. And we got some ring thing going on here. Yes, it's overhead cam with the ring. Okay. Yes, we are up close and uh, personal. Yes, yes, not a plane anymore. We are close and personal again with the Ring of Doom. Yes, it's the Ring of Doom. I've decided it's the Ring of Doom. Shall I say why it's the Ring of Doom? Because each on these sides, which you can't see, but each of the side, the, the bottom, the, the lens clips off and it actually fell off. And <laughs> they did the plane. Yeah, oh, don't worry about that. I'm over it. I'm over it. Right, we, I was going to wait to this and record it during the week and then save it for when we actually do the Maiden. Um, but it's been mega mega busy this weekend, uh, week should I say, and uh, I thought well let's just get this recorded, get it out, because I was a bit confused, so anyone that's uh, as thick as me will probably get confused as well, it's not thick is it, you don't know what to do because the instructions don't tell you what to do and it's totally different. So first of all the wing, so we're going to try and get through this as quick as we can. Now I decided to use some Blendem, you got to like Blendem, I love Blendem. Um, just to make uh, a bit of a, um, uh, what do you call it, wire, wire doodah. <laughs> It'll come to me in a minute, don't worry about it. Uh, but just we call it for a snake, you know. Do, 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 do. No. Um, the reason I wanted to do it, just it makes it nice. Wire loom, there you go, a nice wire loom. Unfortunately, uh, they don't know how to measure and obviously all the lengths, about three lengths are longer. Which is really strange because they all go in the same box. We won't hold it to them, it's okay. They obviously, it was a Friday feeling. They wanted to get home, watch Dad's RC hanger, not make wire cables. Now, uh, these are what are all labelled. Now, you're wondering why I've got uh, the power. In fact, can you see that? You probably, I don't know if you can see this because um, I think, am I down? Oh, we've got close. Um, if you can see, I've done like um, the signal and power. Um, sorry, the signal and minus. So, is that minus or is that power? It's minus, isn't it? Um, sort of like. Alternate. The reason I've done that is because it's, it's like you've got a couple of landing gear and then you'll have in the blue box you'll have one to the right left and one to the right of the box, if that makes sense. So rather than trying to you know twist them around and have them all over the place, I've just made them nice and neat. So that was my kind of wire loom to it because it literally fits up into the fuselage and boop, hello. Um, so it saves getting all them wires because I just hate messy wires. I really do. Okay, so that's the that's the wing. We have uh, we we will put the um, we will put the uh, uh, stuff on. In fact, we could quickly do that now, couldn't we? Um, I mean, we could do it in quick frame time um, just to get these uh, servos um, lined up um, and put the uh, put the linkages on. Why not? While we've got the wing down, as I say, you get the bag, you get the bag of linkages as we've seen before. So if I get them out, um, there you go. Linkage, linkage. Yes, we like linkage. So that's linkage, and then you've got your battery super cover, and then something that tells you what you've got and what you haven't got in the box. And some screws, and there is really not many screws. There is one, two, uh, two, four, five, six, eight kind of those side of screws, and two, four of those side of screws. And that is it. I mean, it's really not a lot to put together, but it was just the electronics that I, when I first saw it, I was a bit confused really confused so um yes i thought i'd show you here we go look at this look 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 so we've got a rudder push rod that's 90 millimeters it does uh, say uh, three and nine sixteenths you've got an aileron push rod uh which obviously you're going to have two of which is 78 millimeters or three inch and you've got flap which you've got two of which is 67.8 millimeters or two and 11 sixteenths they are really weird sizes huh and then you've got uh, uh elevator uh, which is 49 millimeters so they're quite yeah so there you go this is the size right okay so i've kind of pushed about where we need to so we've already got this one in so let's uh let's and it does tell you what ooze to go into <coughs> excuse and moi so um so it tells you to go on on the uh push rod mounting hole is number two this goes into number two little squeezy squeezy pokey pokey turny oh hello and this one will go into, um, what's this going to go into? Number two. It does say on there, which is really cool. It's really cool. I do like the way they uh, tell you where everything's going. So 
if I could get that close to that wing, that's going to have to be wound right back. It'd be really nice if they actually, um, you know, got these where you want them. But where's the fun in that, eh? So let's uh, just uh, jiggery poke it down to number two. Come apart already. Here we go. No, boom. There we go. Right. Number two. There, I reckon I could do another, t another, another turn. Ugh. Ugh. God. Plastic. Could change this for metal, couldn't I really? Why? Because I can. Oh, look at that. That is superb. Snip. Crack. With the old rubbery bit to keep it there. Boom. <laughs> So we've got the fuselage and the towel. Now, if you remember uh, the other week we were talking about this little um, thing where you uh, pull rod or whatever you like to call it for cables. There's a little section underneath here that's obviously away from the EDF that the, the cables fit down. Just bring this down, down the hole and grab the cables and pull them back. And you'll be left with something like this. I'm quite surprised there's not like a channel really for the cables. I thought it might get squished, but uh, apparently not so. So if I grab... Um, this switch one cable is it now? Where are your cable? Hello cable. If it's not that one, then it's got to be this one, no? Yeah, so what I do is just pull the cable so it's tight when it goes down and just slip it in. And it's simple as that. Now the screws that uh, you want are the four screws that are kind of counter got a countersunk lip on if you can see those. And in focus! Yes, there you go. And we're gonna whack them up with my purple screwdriver oh but sexy sexy screwdriver oh, yes. we're going to stack them in in the sides um yes i think before we do that let's push let's screw this down um so these are the other ones which have got like a flat head so um yeah so we've got uh, one two three thank you very much and four just four cables with the sexy screwdriver it's the purple screwdriver, purple, thick purple, thick purple. Yes, he's got a mad one today. Is that Friday madness feeling? Right, okay. So let's uh, let's just uh, screw these in. Right, so do it like you would normally do an engine, if you've ever done an engine, <laughs> or anything really. When you do screws, you do it always opposite sides to give it a nice even. Because if you screw down on one side and, and it, yeah, the other side is not going to. So you know, just give them a tight on each corner to corner, which gives an even Stevens. Ooh, Steven, even in. Right there we go. Yes, and that feels okay. Right, okay. Let's get to the. Um, to pull that one, pull that straight, but I can push that down. There we go. That's it. Comfortable bubble. Oh, this must be the worst stand ever. So let's push you down and stick number. Oh look! He's, oh come on! It's all over the place. <sighs> right, number one, number two, number three, number four. Boom! Yes, look at that. Simple as that. This is what I mean. It is so, so simple. It's absolutely crazy. In fact, why am I showing you? Why am I bringing you a video? I don't know. Rudder on. Center position. Oh, yes. And the rudder, we've got different placements on the rudder, I believe. On the rudder, on the servo, we go to one and to two. So on the servo, we are now at position one. So let's stick that in position L1. Bang, and we are going into hole two, which uh, that needs winding. Now I was a bit quite surprised actually on the flaps. The flaps were really kind of on the edge, and I didn't like that. But I tell you, oh no, this this could be out a twist, out one twist, one twist. Oh, it's a bad day to cut your nails, huh? Well, I didn't. I was cut them the other day actually. So there you go. So oh, I tell you what, that's not bad. I reckon that's a good one. I'm going for a squeeze. Uh, 
and I'm going for the pushy on the rubber. Well, oh, thank you very much. There we go. Look at that. Done. Done. You have been. So we are still with this sexy screwdriver. Yes, the purple. Remember purple. Um, yes, I really need to get a new stand. Maybe someone out there can sponsor me and give me a new stand. <laughs> right, what we're we looking at? We're looking at the rudder. No, we're not. We're looking at uh, the elevators, which are 49 millimeter ones or one and 15 sixteenths. And they're going two to two. So I've only got um, one hooked up at the moment because they're, they're different. But they shouldn't be different. I thought, no, they are. They go into the blue box, which you'll see in a minute. Push that around. Thank you very much. And they're going to go into two. Let's see how much out we are. I'll tell you what, that's a twister in. Twist again like we did. Right, here we go. Two. Get in there. Oh, oh it's falling off. It's falling off the mount. Oh. Where are we? Oh, no. Oh, hello. No, I was wrong. We should need to go in another one. It's, I'm all fingers and all stuff. Here we go, right, so. Twist, I reckon it's two. I'm sorry, I'm sticking with two. Any bets, please? Here we go. Ooh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe a line, maybe that should have been a one twist. Yes, you are spending your day looking at a man twisting a clevis. Right, okay. I reckon that's about it. It's going for a clicker, and it's going for a squidger. Kachum, done, ready to rock and roll. Okay, you don't need to know about the other side. Dang on, you don't need to watch that, do you? I mean, come on, all you negative people, let's have a positive feel. Yes, Dad's RC will get flying. Just remember, the sexy, sexy pink, purple, pink, purple. Is it purple or is it pink? It's purple. Right, let's get some wingage on. Where's the wing? Wing! Where are you, wing? Here we are. Here we wing are. <laughs> Right, so this is where I, I like my little loom, because I can just push that loom in there, just like that, and it's going to be all nice and tidy, and sit down like a sexy glove. With a sexy, sexy purple. Yes, sexy purple. What is going on with this sexy purple everywhere? I don't know. Is it a purple day? No, it's not purple day. Who knows? I don't know. Is there such thing as a purple day? you saying, Chris, you have lost your marbles. Yes, I've got withdrawals. I've got withdrawals from Fly with Paul Heckles. Two weeks now. Oh, God. Right, let's get number one in. Uh, number two. Number three. Number four. Bingo. <laughs> okay, so we are going to now connect to the blue box. Yes, the blue box of tricks the flight line. Here's a picture of the blue box. There you go. Have we all looked at the blue box? Yes, I am back. It's the sexy screwdriver. Yes, the purple screwdriver. Yes, he's still bonkers. Right, so here we are. Here's the um, here's the blue box you get. Now you already get on here. Let me tell you. Let me let me show you what's going on here. So I mean, you've got like um, the channel numbers on here. So at the top, you've got channel five is gear, channel four is rudder, channel two is elevator, channel one is ailerons, and six is flap. Channel six is flap. So six channel receiver. We will be using a S6R. Yes, we will. It has got a bit of, it's got what well, it has, it's got a three axis stabilization. Now I want to try it in the front nose. And uh, normally with the S6R, they like you to put it on where the um, C of G is. But you can offset these. Um, so we're going to give it a go. It could end in disaster. But I mean, you know, uh, we'll be made in this with Paul Heckle. So uh, he, he can catch anything. He's uh, fantastic guy but then we'll have a play around i'll say to paul go on whack it in stabilized mode and see what happens and you know we'll go from there anyway so what happens is you put all the cables in this so um, all your gear uh the top in fact on the top point uh, on here it's got uh, uh it's already got one in which is obviously in the nose gear but it's got a little line pointing up that says that is channel five as well which is the gear so we've got three gears obviously um and then you're right and you can see that uh, obviously you've got the signal on the inside of both sides and on the outsides of both sides you've got the minus um so this is why i made that cable as i did um yeah okay so then all you need to do is plug them all in um and so if we go for like how it is on there now remember you've got these ones coming back through here which is a flap an elevator and a or two elevators and a rudder so we'll go we'll start from we'll start from the bottom i think we'll start from the bottom 
so we've got flat because it'd be a lot easier to see so flaps here's my is one flap so i try to do it so it's it's kind of simple really um now signal in the inside so that flap goes at the bottom stick it in there and this flap uh, let's just leave them in there and that flap with that signal pointing into the middle on the bottom um, there we go I'll tell you what while I'm doing this you go make yourself a nice cup of tea you go did you make me a cup of tea God, disgusting right so we have got these three cables um, uh, well there's actually four because you've also got the uh, <coughs> what have you got you've got the, the EDF a throttle that's what I was looking for a throttle and um, so you can tidy these up anyway I mean we're gonna uh, I won't do it today I will do it off camera um, I'm, I've got we're gonna use like just a, a, a thing that I use for the truck so it takes that to um, 90, XT90. I haven't got those um, fittings. Um, and then this can peel off and then you can stick it to the wall back here, back in there, back in time, right out of the way, because it has no relevance now. It's just got all the cables connected. Now, if you want to take the wings off, it's going to be a bit of a pickle, so you wouldn't stick it down and you can just leave it in there, but it's going to be flopping about. So maybe you could always stick it on Velcro. Um, it's, I just thought, oh, just, you get two spare clevis, by the way. Did I miss that out? I probably did. Um, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So, but the size of this jet, to be honest with you, is um, uh, you know, you, you could probably just keep it as is and just put it in the back of the car and off you go. It's a beautiful plane. It really is. I just, I'm in awe of this plane. Uh, jet, should I say? Um, it's just really nice. Anyway, so once you've done that, you can pull these yellow ones through, like so, and and they're ready to uh, put into your um, receiver so let's work this in so this is obviously control side um, this is this is what confused me is what what was this is it power control so it's obviously got to be a control isn't it because uh, the box would be powered up from the throttle so we have got flap so we what did it say on flap should be uh, gear be six six a flappy six now Anyone that knows the S6R, you have to go into the software anyway and disable the, um, the stabilization on uh, elevator 2 and aileron 2. Otherwise, it will keep that to stabilization and then your gear, your flaps and your gear will be trying to stabilize themselves. Yes. Okay, so we're back in the room. Sexy purple, sexy purple screwdriver. Yes. <laughs> So I've got a little ditty screwdriver and just poked a hole at the back here. So that's going out and be careful that you measure so you don't end up poking out the bottom. Um, I think I just used an old uh, rod actually to make the hole. Um, so for my uh, vertical uh, aerial and then I've got the horizontal here. Now I, I do maybe want to put it up the front here. I mean the further away all this sort of stuff is away from the, the, uh, the battery the better. Um, so I could push that a bit more forward up here maybe. Uh, but I'm going to play about this. Plenty of uh, length on these cables. Um, as I say, I'm going to play around and see what's what um, off video. So when we do the maiden in a couple of weeks, um, I say in a couple of weeks, it could be like thunderstorms and God knows what else. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Okay. Now, it does say that you can put a 6S 400 milliamp. Now, I've only got the graphene. Now, I'm doing it from the side. So this is if it's all upside down, I do apologize. I've only got the graphene. Uh, a 5,000 milliamp 6S 75C. She's a big girl. Um, I, presumably you could put that in there. 5,000 milliamp. Um, we'll give it a go. It's about fitting though. <laughs> now I've got my little uh, changer um, which, which goes to the XT90. So we'll just leave that on for now. Um, but I, I will re-solder this or solder it. Um, as I say, there's a certain way it's going to go. Whether this is going to be too much for her I don't know, but we can use it for testing purposes anyway. I haven't got any 4,000s. Um, 4,000s, I haven't got any. So the other thing that's the problem, if you're using a big battery like this, 
is these little uh, points which kind of hold the battery down really. So if, you, if it does work and it's okay, I mean I've got about three, four of these batteries so I don't really want to spend any more money getting 4,000. If they're 5,000 that'll be fine. Um, but you'd have to trim just these ends, just the, if I can get a decent shot there. You have to trim these down, you can see where I've just pushed it, it does squish down, which is fine, but it's still pushing it off and you know, you're more likely to, to ping this off and you don't want to do that. So um, let me get, so let's get the um, receiver and I reckon we get this baby powered up. Alrighty, I'm back. So I've got the transmitter, I've stuck the battery in so let's power this baby up. Now, obviously, we get the CG right um, for the 5000 pack. So the battery, obviously, I've got the... Um, there you go. Just a, 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 if you remember as well, that it, the same with an EDF. That uh, you always put, before you plug the battery in the first time, you put the throttle forward. So it, can, it knows where the, um, uh, your sticks are. So it will respond correctly. So we just got our, our stick in. Now I'm going to stick this in. It, it is a squish down, but like you know, I will, um, I will probably just um, trim them down. I mean, the CG is pretty good with this. So um, let's let's uh, just check that she's working. <laughs> oh, look at that! She wants to go. Okay, <laughs> it's windy. Let me just spin around so we can see that everything is. I mean, that's it. I mean, you are ready to rock and roll. That is a bird that's ready to fly. Probably, uh, <laughs> in fact, let's get the landing gear down. Poxy, that's a standard orange there, that's not really good. Let's get the landing gear down. Uh, which one was it? Oh, yeah. And look at this landing gear, if I can just keep this in one piece. Let's get that in focus. Look at that, if I can get it, where are I? <laughs> look at that, it's, kind of, it's got a spring mechanism on there, on all the wheels. And the wheels are lovely and spongy, so this is ready for a, a hard landing, so it's pretty good for me. Um, so obviously all our control surfaces. Now these do need, uh, as you see, they're not that centre. Um, so I've got to sort that out. It could be just uh, my radio where I've got it set up. I've got some mixes in there or something. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think it's just... Um, we need to uh, get the center points right. As you can see, anything even on the flaps, you know, I've got to go through them all. It, it just literally whack it together. As you can see, the the nose, well, you can't see, but the nose wheel also is moving at the same time. I say this is what's going on. This is why I need hanger V2 because I've got no space. So, um, so you can see the rudder, nose wheel. Fact. No, that's quite. That's quite. So I reckon we should have a bit of blastage. Um, hopefully, it won't uh, knock the. Uh... There we go. Oh, 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 blastage! So let's have a bit of uh, twelve bladed blastage on a six S, five thousand milliamp. <laughs> camera golly gosh let's uh go off the side of it shall we <laughs> i can't believe that i can Damn! <laughs> wow, she wanted to go. She wanted to go. Damn! <coughs> Telemetry lost because I'm too close. There you go. There you go. <coughs> oh, that took my breath away. <laughs> wow, she's got some beans. I'm telling you. I'm a bit annoyed at myself because where she's been in the hangar and it's been a crazy week. There's a couple of couple of marks and bits and pieces so I'm gonna be playing around and um, once again why do they not send like a bit of color a bit of touch paint you know it's it must be simple the amount of people that would love to see that I, I swear you know a little tube just a little diddy tube just a little paintbrush in just a touch-ups here and there and uh, I'm sure that would uh, 
be welcoming for most of this. So I'm going to stick the sticker in. I've got a, um, a Motion RC free wing sticker. So I'm going to, that comes with the plane. Uh, you got the that's it, you got the sports jet, and there's another one, which <coughs> if I can get it out, it says uh, Mo Motion RC free wing. So yeah, we're going to stick some of them somewhere, probably on the side. I'm not sure where actually, but we'll stick them somewhere. It's probably I'll probably stick them over where I get dents. <laughs> I don't know. So there you go, she is ready for a maiden and she will be maidened um, uh, in two weeks time if all goes well with the weather and everything else. Obviously Paul Heckles, uh, but this is great, great suspension. Look at that, you can see that bounce. You could hit this quite hard, I wouldn't try it, but I, you know, it's going to be forgiving. Especially sometimes like me, um, I'm sure like other people you have some hard landings and that's going to be perfect. But. Uh, it's just it's just a beautiful 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 jet i love it i love it i, I mean i love planes and but this just for a simple sports jet there's this trainer jet she looks and sounds i mean the power i mean she was pushing against me like nobody business she wants to go um well i've got to check the cg i mean this i'll just do a bit off camera <clears throat> a little bit and cg seems fine um it's just got to go back a bit but when we do the maiden you'll see all that anyway I've got to get all these server control surfaces level because they're not level. Um, it could be that I've got some mixes in the transmitter. I'll quickly uh, bound it and done everything else because I haven't got much time. So I'm going to sit down and play around with that and get it all going and bits and pieces. That's not a problem. So if you haven't got thunderstorms and rain and anything else like we have at England at the moment um, and you've got a lovely day, take advantage of that and get out and fly. Um, yeah, what more can I say? The Vulcan Sport Jet is built. So if you can get one, get out and fly one because it's friggin' awesome. It really, really is. So with this out of the way, this can go up into the sky or can go into the house because uh, she's built. So it enables me to get onto the other two planes that I need to finish, which is the Spitfire and the Boomerang. We've got two weeks to finish. So, you know, next week is, I mean, I've got bits and pieces I've been doing with Spitfire anyway, but I'm just going to show you what I've done rather than make about 30,000 videos what I did do or what I'm doing it should I say so it's I'm rattling on again I don't mean to um <laughs> I should just do another live soon I think because I can rattle on as much as I like them um until then be safe keep safe and most of all thanks for popping by I really appreciate it listen have a fantastic weekend everyone and I'll see you next week tell on now bye bye